Hey everyone, welcome to Clear Discussion. I'm John. Um, today, this kind of topic has gone from being dependent, whether that's on your guardian, parent, whoever helped raise you um, in your like childhood and adolescent stage into being independent and on your own, going into adulthood, and in some cases having some free time in between then. Um, so part of this, and I got my notes up here, so if I glance up, that's what I'm looking at. Um, part of this idea stems from a book I read a while ago, and I don't recall the name of it, to be honest with you, but it went over how people need time to go from being dependent, like I said, on, you know, guardian, parent, whoever, to, you know, developing yourself to become independent and on your own. Um, and that kind of leads, once you get past that stage, that kind of leads into, if you so choose, marriage, um, bringing up family, however your life goes, that goes from there. So, but it's good to have that stage of independence. And that's kind of what I'm going over with this one. Um, now, obviously this isn't one size fits all. This isn't just everyone has to go from one stage to this stage to the next stage. You know, obviously everyone's life is different. Everyone has situations that are abnormal. And so this is just more on my experience. Um, and how it's worked for me personally. Um, but I do think it is some good advice on here. So I think the problem that occurs with a lot of people is they don't have enough time to transition from uh, childhood or adolescence, however you want to call it, into adulthood. Um, they go from being dependent on parent or caretaker to, depending on some situations obviously, being dependent on significant others, husband, wife, however that works out. And they don't have that that gap in between where they kind of go off on their own, for lack of a better word. You know, they're not alone. They don't have time to actually sit and be by themselves. Um, and I think that's a, I think that's a loss on their end. And I think that's a loss for a lot of people. Um, so let, let me get back to what I was going at here. Um, for me personally, I had a gap of time where I went from, you know, growing up. Um, dependent on my parents and family, to having stage of my life where I was kind of in control of everything that was going on. Um, and I, in that time gap, I had no one I was dating, no one I was, um, I guess, had to be with at any amount of time. I was fi relatively financially stable. Like I would go work and all that money was coming to me and I would take care of my bills when I needed to slash out as I needed to. Um, my biggest dependency was I had a roommate at the time and I would hang out with him from time to time, but it wasn't anything more than that. It wasn't, um, I didn't feel the need to be with people. I didn't feel the need to, um, kind of fill my time with other people. And I had a lot of alone time, which at first was kind of weird because, um, I think I'm more of a people person, but I've noticed more and on more and more with life that I do enjoy that time to be alone. I do enjoy that reset time, you know, whether that's reading a book, you know, um, playing a video game, however I do it. But I, I notice that time is valuable to me. Now, maybe that's different for other people. That's how it works for me personally. Um, and in that time where I was allowed to be, allowed to be alone, where I was alone, um, there was days obviously where I wasted my time. You know, I would go out and, um, I don't want to say go out, but like I'll be, sitting on my phone all half the day, you know, on social media and um, just scrolling through. And sometimes I'd be like, well, that was a waste of time, you know. And in those situations, it's not the best. But as long as I feel like as long as everyone learns from those situations and moves a, moves on from them, then it kind of works out for everybody. So you don't, you know, you're not stuck in the same situation again. And obviously we're humans. Um, you know, we get these habits that aren't the best for us. So it's inevitable to some degree. But Luckily, I kind of would learn from the time that I had, you know, even when I was wasting it while alone to make better use of it. And that goes into my uh, other point on this one. In that time frame, I think I went through a lot of good, majority of the time, good changes. I went from being a lot less dependent on other people's opinion of me. Um, and I had a lot better sense of like self-esteem. Um, you know, if I want to do something, I would just do it. You know, um, I would plan out like my days working wise and off time to kind of maximize my time, but I didn't do it, you know, religiously. I wasn't like, I have to do this, this, and this. It was just like, Hey, I know I'm off this day. Let me try to fill it with this time. And you know, sometimes I would do it. Sometimes I wouldn't, but it was nice to have that freedom to choose exactly what I could and uh, wanted to do. 
excuse me, sorry. Um, the other side of that was I had a really good workout routine that I was doing at the same time. I think that definitely aided with everything because I had that kind of sense of structure and routine going on. So, you know, it would be work, workout, and then my free time of however I want to do it. And I made a pretty good use of all of that, I think. And it was at that same time, or not maybe not same time, but it was during that time frame um, of like year, year and a half, two years, I don't remember exactly what it was, where I also started doing um, some meditation, some deep breathing. And whenever I say meditation, I don't, um, I feel like there's this idea that it's, I guess, more like spiritual. And it's not for me in this case. When I do meditation, I'm literally just slowing down my breath, focusing on it and trying to stay like in the moment. When I feel distractions coming in, I try to, I see, I try to acknowledge them and then return my focus to the breath. And I noticed that helped me stay a lot better in the moment when I was doing that consistently. And I have gotten off of that um, like pretty significantly over the last few years. But it's something that I really want to spend more time trying to get into that routine again because it was so useful to me, or at least I think it was, um, because it was one of those positive things that when I was doing it consistently along with the working out and whatnot, I had this just general sense of like, well-being. I just felt good majority of the time. I wasn't worried about things from the future and the past, things that I, you know, mistakes I made or anything. It was, I had a really good mental mindset at the time and that was really beneficial for me. Um, and kind of where I'm going with a lot of this idea is in the time frame that I was alone, for lack of a better word, or depend, or independent, only on my own, I had a lot of those good routines and good habits. And I think I learned a lot and developed myself a lot because I was forced, you know, to be alone to see what I wanted to do by, you know, when I was just by myself, you know, and I don't have, you know, I don't have to go see this person. I'm not with this person. I was just on my own and I had to fill the time as I wanted to. And it made me actually, you know, sit down and think like, well, what do I actually like doing? What do I actually want to do? Rather than just when you're a kid or even a teenager, a lot of the time, you're kind of more like, what are my parents doing or what is my family doing if you have a lot of siblings, which I did. And you kind of just go with the flow a lot of the time. Not all the time, but definitely happened for me personally, where you just kind of get stuck with whatever everyone was doing. You kind of just did it. And it usually, for me, it was enjoyable. Um, and I obviously, everyone has some kind of alone time when they're younger. I'm just speaking more in terms of the like hours on end when you're on your own kind of a thing and and getting off track but i think want to get back to that focus um so the whole idea is from that time frame i think i developed those good habits i had good like um self-development and self-growth at the time that now in the situation situation i'm in now where i'm married now um i which is great i have a job which is going pretty good and also, like right now, we're starting to look at houses, which is a big commitment. All these things going on and, you know, down the road when we have start having a family and all that stuff, like those are big events in our life or in our lives. And I don't think if I had the time to be on my own and the time to develop myself, I think I would have been much less prepared to deal with these big decisions, these big situations that I'm having now in life or in maybe, you know, a little bit in the future. So... That's kind of the baseline of what I'm getting at here is all the time I had to be on my own, develop, it prepared me for now what life has thrown at me, which I think is beneficial in a lot of ways. Um, and little side note, I also want to say maybe this is just for me and I, like a couple of, I've seen some things where people have talked about this a bit, um, not in this exact sense, at least I don't think so. Mm, excuse me. I just ate lunch, so I got a lot of air. <laughs> um, also, I'm not a professional in terms of like um, career development, life advice, or any kind of medical situation. So I don't want anyone to take this to the extreme. Um, this is just me, normal dude, um, trying to give my best input as to what's helped me. Um, and kind of the ending note I want to give on this one is if you're in this time frame where you are alone a lot of the time, you're kind of just working, maybe you're going through the motions, you know, sit down and kind of figure out what you like to do. If you're able to, you know, if you have um, a job and a little bit of financial stability, and you just have a decent amount of free time, 
I would sit down, take some time, figure out what it is that you actually enjoy doing or what you want to do and go from there. You know, for me personally, I like to work out. So that was one thing I was like, well, I'm just going to make sure I do that consistently, which then led into other things. I started to do the uh, deep breathing meditation. I started to read a little bit more because I used to read a lot when I was younger and I got back into it during that time frame. Um, and it was these good or at least somewhat beneficial habits that I had had when I was younger. Some of them came back, um, which was cool. You know, like I said, the books for one thing, played video games a lot when I was younger, kind of moved away from that a little bit during teenage years um, because I was more focused on sports, hanging out with people, yada, yada. Um, but yeah, I just think it allows you to hone in on who you are more than if you kind of just are always chugging along, never taking the time to slow down and f kind of figure, you know, your life out a little bit because that's what that time is for. I, I, that's what I think at least, you know. And I'm not going to say age groups because I, I don't think it really depends on age groups. I think it's everyone's pretty unique in the sense that maybe that's after high school, maybe that's after college, maybe that's during college, and maybe for some people that's way off into like your 40s. I don't know. You know, everyone's different. So I'm just hoping that whoever hears this and sees this can take this advice and just use it to better themselves as best they can. You know, use this um to become a better version of yourself, which sounds kind of cheesy, but it really does. It helps you to just be more prepared for what life throws at you. Um, and for anyone who's kind of past that stage, or maybe like you're seeing this in your, your, let's say you're 13, which, you know, some people go through that kind of development of that stage, but let's say you, you know, still living with your parents, you're dealing with a lot of like school stuff or whatnot. Um, you can like take time out of your day, slow it down a little bit, figure out if you're doing something you actually enjoy doing or if you're just kind of going through the motions or doing what someone else is doing, you know, take that time. And, you know, if you're past me in terms of development and you're married, you have kids, big house, whatever, you know, I, I can't speak for you because I don't know. But like, if possible, take that time, slow it down a little bit and see, make sure your life's going in the direction you want. Um, this is getting a little deeper than I meant it to be, but I hope you guys can take this um, experience from me um, that I've had and kind of develop it and use it for your own lives. And I really, really hope that this helps some people. Um, let me know what you guys think, if this is useful to you. If not, you know, start a conversation with me. I really love just talking to people, going through these kinds of things and just seeing where everyone's at. Um, I hope this video got, finds you guys well. I hope everyone's doing good. Uh, like I said in the last one, I do have my website called Clear Discussion, and that's on Wix.com. I'm going to put that in the description below. Um, other than that, I think that's about it. So you guys take it easy and have a good one.